Welcome in everyone. It is game number 26, 25 on the Elf Union run. It's always a guessing game with me when I start. <laughs> what game are we on? I don't know. Let's see if we can count. But uh, 25, that's what our team looks like. Uh, we've got a rookie catcher in for this game because a vitriolic monkey is MNG'd. We've spun into some orcs who have a very good record. 11 wins, 17 draws. It is a lot of draws, but only one loss in all those games is very impressive. Um, I'm sure it said 1.18 on the other screen. It says 1.23 here, so they're a little bit more um, expensive than I thought, but not much. Um, they Oh, that's, oh because they have a loaner, that's why. Um, they've only got 11 players. They've only got two re-rolls. Um, they do have sure hands, though. On their Edge 2 plus Blitzer, they've got some guard, they've got some mighty bow, they've just got the one tackle, but they do have one tackle and they've got a sneaky get. Not that you need it against me, because as I keep saying, opponents don't get sent off playing me, they just foul as much as they want. Uh, thank you for the follow. I do not know how to say your name. Shinoni, maybe? ICB, reasonable PlayStation coach, think they played at UKTC. Okay, cool. Went three, two, and one. Okay, so they definitely, definitely know what they're doing. TC mom, it is. <laughs> I've actually been thinking about whether to increase the speed of my YouTube uploads because, uh, because of that exact thing. And uh, sorry if you are jumping in here from the YouTube run, but you know what? The YouTube run's really fun. It's been a fun uh, run. This weather does not look like normal weather. It is normal weather. Huh. Okay, so they've won the toss and they've put me on offense with the wizard, which is definitely a clever strategy, I think. Forces me to think hard about whether I want to dacker. Dacker into a wizard is tough sledding. They're probably hoping that the wizard will force me to score early and give them a chance to get the 2-1 grind. Or they're hoping it'll turn me over and win them the game. That's also possible. Um, so, I'll put you there. So who's going to carry the ball for us? I think in this situation, baby catcher carries the ball. So they can be the wizard magnet. That feels right. Um, not sure how I feel about opponents doing offset lines to me. That's my that's my thing. Don't like orcs stealing the offset line move. Feels like copyright infringement. Second game in a row, we're starting with a blitz against us. Does not feel like tonight's been our night. All in. Um, yeah, not great. Yeah, at least we have set up well for the blitz. We've got a good screen all the way across. It's more just that there's a good chance we just start the drive on 10 players. Which is rough. As well as having to do some extra dodges. And it's going to put us under pressure right away with the wizard. Gets the pow. Doesn't put us on 10 players. Well, that's something. That's something. Jam that guard and might go. Let's 
Not as many as I can do. Okay. Alright. Take away it here. Do you know what I mean when I say it's just maybe like sometimes you get the vibe, it's just not your night. Um, need to follow that now. Okay, that sounds nice. This goes two into one. It's a pain. A sort of pain. Okay. Mm, everything now is one in six fail. Good. I think it's ball next. Good. Well, this was not intended to be a dacker. It's looking a bit dacker-ish at the moment, but wasn't intended to be one. Sometimes when you get blitzed, you get forced into drives you didn't want to have. Bryden, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to the weirdos. That, did that do a notification? I didn't notice a notification, but I just looked up and saw the thing on there. Sorry if that notification happened when I was distracted, but thank you for the, uh, for the prime sub. It did okay, cool. Well, at least that's just me being too focused on the game rather than the uh, bot messing up. Coming after our guard, seems like a good target. Gets the pow. Good. <laughs> the pain is strong. Good news is that guard doesn't play on fouls anymore. They might foul anyway, but at least they don't have the two guard assists on a foul. Bad news is this is a problem to get out of. <laughs> this is a problem regardless. Thanks for the follow. Rennie San. The thing with sneaky get here is you might as well foul because if you don't break arm, you don't break arm anyway. Although if you get sent off, you're on ten players. Like there is not there is not a bench here. And there is not a bribe. So if, if anyone ever could get sent off against me, it might might have some consequence. I think we need to hit this.
what I'm trying to do here is to have these two close to each other and not like fight not in a, in a formation where they can both be under one fireball right so if they decide to fireball or frog you still have the other one to to be helpful that's good that's really good um Jimmy, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream this evening? Oh my god, they've just gone for the attrition fireball. Okay. All right. Well, they did get two stuns on valuable pieces, but the fireball is now gone, which is a relief. And it didn't remove anything. So that definitely could have gone worse for us. Mm -mm lovely naff ladder someone was asking me about the naff ladder the other day and um i really like the idea of the naff ladder but to be honest like completely selfishly the fact that i can't use my wood elf euro bowl rule a uh, euro bowl roster in it is just putting me off doing it like without getting to do my actual roster i want to practice for tabletop i sort of can't be bothered so if they if they let us have the cash packs, I'd be all over it. Um, which is like completely just selfish, but it's just the truth. But like it's really cool that someone's doing an ladder, and it's cool that people seem to be playing it, which is like I think what everyone was not sure about when they set it up, right? Like was with whether people would be into it or not. Like it seems like a really cool idea. Oh, I thought that was a blitzer. I thought I was going to have sidestep. I did not have sidestep. Uh, but they didn't knock us over anyway. In fact, both the blitzers are the ones who went down with the fireball, aren't they? I thought they were both stunned, but this one is not stunned. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, totally, get, I totally get why they've done it that way. Like, for Rosses, it's way easier. Um... So it's, and it's, it's like it's just a good thing right like it's just a good thing because this ladder that I'm playing in like we've all talked about it loads it has all sorts of problems so it's just definitely a good thing that people are that there's like that option and people are doing it ref ref didn't even break armor okay alright very very glad that that wizard is gone that makes everything less complicated to think about doesn't mean I can't still mess it up of course still very capable of messing things up even without a uh, even without a wizard to think about um, there's nothing I can really do to stop this foul from happening like there's no realistic way that I can clear this um, they've got guard here so I can't even get a hit on the thing there so, to some extent, we just kind of have to accept that's going to happen. Um, Oh my god, very nice pal. Way to go, Freezing Star. Freezing Star, not happy with just scoring all the touchdowns. Now wants to kill Orcs as well. Doesn't Apo it? Well, that is a spicy choice. I'm not the banger, it's Freezing Star. Freezing Star just woke up and chose violence. I should have counted those squares, which I had not done, but it does appear that they cannot get the ball that way. Um, but, in fact, I don't really see a good reason not to 
Bring the bow this way. I should probably say something meaningful to all our cabal vision viewers. I can't believe I'm getting blamed for freezing stars banger behaviours. Good dodging. Yeah, I do play banger outs. This is an annoying spot for them, isn't it? Like this big and doesn't really want to stand up because of the size depth and the fact I've got frenzy. We're turning we are we're only on turn three. Hmm. But yeah, do guys if you're a NAF player and you uh, have been not excited about the ladder in Blood Bowl three, do check out the NAF ladder. It's uh it's really cool. Like it's really cool that it that, that it exists and people are are getting in there and getting some games done. Um I'm sure I will get into it at some point. I just like right now, like if I'm not doing like this, I kind of want to do like proper tabletop practice, which I can't do with my Eurobowl roster on there. Yeah, did wonder about putting that there. Did think that's getting punched and it was. Um, maybe I will regret it. Maybe I will regret it. I do not regret it. Freezing Star is a banger, not a bangy. <laughs> All right, so now the foul coming on. Cody, ref, please ref, come on. Prove to me that one time an opponent can get sent off. Opponents cannot get sent off. It just can't happen. Like it just literally can't happen. How many fouls have we seen even just in tonight's stream? I have done two fouls, they have both been sent off. Our opponents have done many, <laughs> many, many, many fouls without even one getting sent off. Um, I'll take better care of you now though. Turn around four. It's a little tempting just to send that there just to make you worry about it. Although you might also then just pat and foul it. Put it there so you have to go a long way for it. I don't really know if either of those is better than the other, but let's just go with that. Oh, I saw your message about that. Um, when are you planning to? Uh, when are you planning to to do it, Jim? Like you, you're not trying to get the whole season done before Euro Bowl, are you? Because like it's really soon. Um, if you if there's if there's like a pause built into it for people being away, because I'm going away for not just the games, I'm going to have like a week's holiday in the middle. Then I think I'll be in. Yeah, I'm going Frenzy Over Tackle for, for Europa, actually, not for Euro Bowl, but yes, um, I'm going Frenzy Over Tackle. I, just, I think, the, like, obviously it's not wrong to take a tackle on a war dancer, right? Like, tackle on a war dancer is really good. <laughs> so, like, definitely not uh, trying to say, oh, my way is correct and tackle is wrong. But I just find tackle is... There's too many matchups where tackle doesn't do anything. And I'm bringing a couple of wrestle players anyway. 
and frenzy just even if you, obviously there's loads of great things you can do with frenzy but even if you don't use frenzy at all your opponent will position differently for the whole game because of frenzy and i think that's a good thing like it just makes your opponent have to make different calculations and often with wood elves you're waiting for that moment when your opponent makes a mistake so giving them an extra thing to worry about um i find good Renesan, having ambivalent feelings, I would love to see you winning, but I would also like to see elven teams get smashed to pieces. Sophie, please see the way. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, let's lean more into the wanting me to win, I say. <laughs> uh, okay, so, turn five. You're just going to dodge. Definitely a greedy part of me that wants to dodge you all around and punch that goblin. I think I probably should blitz here. The sidestep. I, that was an interesting choice, hey? Like, it definitely made his one turn pretty powerful. I was... I'd never seen that, that build. I was caught off guard by it. But it was definitely interesting. Um, I think we just have to accept there's a chance we get caught on you here, isn't there? Yeah, like it's so good for the one turns. Like it's amazing for the one turns. Um, as he showed, definitely in the game against me, I assume he did it in other games too. Like, it's really nice to have for the one turns. Uh, keep that behind so we have the option to hand off. Bring that there. It's annoying. Oh well. This goes first. Let's just make you deal with it. Speaking of make you deal with it, I think this just stands up. I think that just stands up. Like, yeah, it's free hit. It's also a player not moving. And it's a one in nine chance. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty happy to serve the sidestep there. Date the serve the sidestep water, so that was a pretty nice moment. I like to think that I had some role in that. I think I'd put some good pressure on. But uh, yeah, sitting on my side of it, it was like watching him. He's like, okay, he's doing, he's, 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 he's jumped over. That doesn't look super safe. But then he moved the second water answer in front of it. I was like, uh, that's definitely less safe. <laughs> Okay, just to push the ass good. I think there is a world where you can hit the ball here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's I'm it's still one square short. You'd have to do the hard dodge here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You need to do two hard dodges for an uphill. It would be pretty crazy. Interesting choice, okay. Trying to get the big guy in there. Obviously, he was hoping for a power because then you'd get to follow through and stand on the ball as well. Man, I wish we had our guard. Guard's so good. Guard's so good. This just in. Okay. 
they had a choice there. Like they either push to the sideline here and then um, close that down to us, or they come back here and this stops from coming back to the middle. I think this is better what they've done. Um, yes, it gives us a sideline, but if you don't do that, then I can blitz through that and I can sit up here in the middle, which is stronger. So I think I think they made the right choice. There you go. Didn't need to block the goblin. Let the goblin fall down on its own. Um, we could come through one of these, but they have both got blocks. They might just not fall over. So I, th I think we do take the space up the sideline here. Get that in front. Get that there. We're going to need like at least one dodge, I think, to make this comfortable. But where is the bits? I think that's the bit. These are strength four. The guard here is too tricky. This is too much energy that we don't need. So yeah, we'll, we'll go for that at the end. Let's get the ball forward first. So you can get to there. Need you so we can do the bits. Definitely prefer this fall over. Burn the one. Good. And do them for it. Oh my god, the orc armor has not been strong this game. Okay, that's all pretty good. Um on the goblin that sounds good I uh, guess that's next because you've got dodge do you next because that would be nice to have we from there because the break tackle could be rowdy and try and come in there we have have they got the speed to come around the top one two three four five six seven Eight, but then you've got your movement left, so yeah, I think I think here is the square. Cool. Do you next because you've got pro. Do we even do this one? Like I don't really want to put a reroll into it. The fouling pieces here, I think I think we just leave it. I think we just leave it. Yeah, no, the break tackle is, is like a genuine threat. Like they have an IG2 plus with break tackle. That's a that's a, like a an elf with um an edge up for one dodge anyway. So yeah, that's that's a pretty scary piece. It's gonna be extremely hard to get the ball off. I'm slow elf, yeah. I mean most most pro elves are many a movement six, right? It's only the catches and the blitzes that are faster, so Slow. It rhymes. Maybe they'll put this just to free up the run. It's not worth freeing up the goblin, is it? I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I think we've got a reasonably good position here. They might go for our, our like, movement line catch just because it's valuable. This is why it's normally the movement line catcher carrying the ball. It's another reason to carry on the movement line catcher so it's not getting punched, but we just started off not carrying on it because of the wizard. Maybe, maybe we should have transferred that turn. Maybe that last turn should have been a handoff turn, actually, with hindsight. I'm in the mindset of trying to avoid rolling dice if we don't have to, but we have got a valuable player to hit here, so. I 
think I would have rerolled that if I was them just because you're on turn six already, but they've decided not to. Now, speaking of handoffs, we are going to be greedy here and try to get the ball to Lionhouse because Lionhouse is one SPP away from a level we would like. So we are going to to do that. Good. Was a bit worried that that was going to be a sneak. We'll put this rear on to turn seven. So now Edge One Plus has to go into uh, minus four, minus four, or it has to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't go around the top. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay on the Edge One Plus K Shive. Famous last words, but. I guess it's a five plus, isn't it? One minus four is five, not six. <laughs> I can, well, one plus four, even. Yeah. So you could go for it, It'd be a five plus, but they're not going to. They're going to try to kill Rightful. They're going to try to kill poor Rightful for the crime of standing next to a goblin. We seriously need a chat box in game? Yeah. I wish they would. It's obviously not happening, right? Like they've gone for this different thing where they do the um and the Discord chat instead, but I don't know anyone who's used it. Three dice with the mighty bow. Be strong, rightful. Good work. So they can foul, and I imagine they will. Again. If it wasn't just that they're playing me and I, no one gets sent off fouling me, they haven't got a bribe. So you could go down to nine players on a foul here. Which is definitely like a real thing to worry about. Like nine players against elves is not a good number. But again, no one gets caught fouling me, so... <laughs> um. I think I think we still take a hit, don't we? Quad skulls aren't real. Quad skulls can't hurt you. See, quad skulls aren't real. <laughs> All right. Good. Yeah, I agree with you guys, Caveman and BB Nut. Like, because emotes are so hard to read the intention of, right? Like, some people might just want to like drop a, like a friendly GG, but if you've just like lost to someone or you've just beaten someone, that can read as really sarcastic and like it's it's really like the emotes aren't great for doing that thing. They have not got a troll to throw their goblin, so this should be a very hard one turn. With movement six. But maybe they'll pull it off. We shall see. We shall see. Hmm. 
It's so awful. I'm trying to say to my opponent, good play, but it just comes off like I'm a dick because of the animations. Yeah, I definitely understand that. And, like, some of them are, like, really different from one to the next, right? Like, um, the, like, tease. Because, like, tease in my head doesn't sound too mean. But, like, the, the, the Gloriel one is, like, she, like, does this, like, boohoo gesture, which is actually, like, a really funny animation. But it can come across like you're being, like, an ass to people. One sec, Gemma. Sorry to our opponent, didn't mean to keep waiting. Okay, so no timeout, that's the important thing. Man, I'm so glad they used that wizard. <laughs> the wizard did kind of get them this removal because the wizard let them foul this piece and then uh, they managed to remove it, but yeah, very glad not to have to deal with a wizard the rest of the game. <laughs> ding! Ding for the removal. So if neither KO comes back right now, we're on 10. They've still got two more players to hit and possibly foul. One isn't removed yet, might get fouled. Three dice with the mighty blow. Doesn't remove that. Okay, so we're going to have a minimum of nine. If they foul, they might get us down to nine, but at the moment we've got we've got ten and then two KOs to roll. Going for the pass first. Makes the pickup. Fails animosity. Makes the pass. Fails the catch. Fails the catch on the reroll. So no foul. Trying to get that precious orc SPP. We got one back. Is that the? I think that is the blitzer. I think. Yes, we got the good one back. Collie, amazing. Okay. All right, so we're on 11. We're actually a player up because the opponent is on 10. Still a bit surprised they didn't uh, apo the badly hurt. Like, you don't expect to get bashed a lot against pro elves. So I feel like um, I would definitely have been tempted to uh, spend the apple on that early one. Although the armor has been breaking a lot. Right, I'm doing the setup first and I'm working out who goes where next. Um... We're probably going to have to have at least one of the blitzers on this uh, front line, aren't we? Because we are. The tackle isn't so precious here because they've got just the one goblin. I think we can put that in that line. I think we'll put that there. Put the size up in here. Oops. Size up in here. Baby catches, unfortunately, just got to be in that line because we want to protect the leader, want to protect the frenzy, want to protect the guard definitely want to protect the movement nine so I think that's I think that's what it's got to be should have fouled for us not angry at the orcs just disappointed just disappointed god this is a good runner like we've had a good drive like you definitely were going to be happy with wizard gone one nil up and um even like starting the drive on 11 against 10 but it still feels like it's very easy for this not to go away from here right because orcs get the hits on the line which good chance to remove players and then they've got this monster carrying the ball
it's a very cheap team for having a, a like a star ball carrier that good on it. Grelkus, the pirate of Sussilmund. Hello, sausage dog. Oh, sorry. I'm going to go to bed after this one, Russ. One more half, and then we'll go to bed. Dog is unimpressed. Dog is unimpressed that I'm still here at the commuter. Probably rightly so. Um, short kick, brilliant coaching gives them a... Mm, that's pretty good for them, actually. Uh, they did take two assistant coaches, so they were likely to win it. But, yeah, they only had two rerolls, so... Pretty nice to get the third. Special on offense. You don't think high agility helps the orc ball carry? Of course it helps. Means that if we, um, if it's close to the end zone on turn 16, it's just going to score, isn't it? Like no screen's going to keep that uh, contained. Okay, so as predicted, we've lost one on the line already. Still two more hits to come. Also makes this pickup much safer, right? Like, because three plus pickups, even with sure hands, do fail. Okay, that one's not removed. All three armor breaks so far, which does happen to pro elves. Which is the bloat send, probably the catcher, I guess, with this one. Well done. See, look, if that was a regular orc with edge three plus, they would have had the reroll with sure hands, but it might have failed. Definitely, definitely good to have high agility. High agility is always good. <laughs> Same as high strength is good and high movement's good. High on any of the stats is good. This wasn't a good kick for us, unfortunately. The kick has. Um, has not given us the opportunity. Like I think a lot of the games we played against Orcs in this run, we've been able to pressure them quite high into their backfield, which is um, which is uh, something that has been really effective, but also just really fun. Um, but the um, kick did not give us that opportunity this time around. It's not really any option to attack this, which is a pain. because I want to be able to attack it. Um, you there, you there. You there. Yeah, it's a really long way around. Really, really long way around. Um, um, I guess it's going to be you. And who's going to be here? Could stick guard in here, dodge on there and go for their most valuable one. But like, what are we hoping is going to happen? That we'll just magically go through armor 10 plus. Seems like a not, a not reliable strategy. I honestly don't know if it's worth taking this bets. Taking the split is going to force me to put a player there that I don't want to put there. So I'm just not going to take the bets. Like it's an armor 10 plus player. The chances are it's not going to break even if I bet. So I'm going to not make a mess of my lovely screen for the sake of doing a bit. So I'm not sure it's worth it. In general, I don't think elf screens work, by the way. Like, and especially not against ball carriers is good. Like this is not our plan for the whole drive. But there was just no option on this turn to to attack so you do this for now force them to do something and then see if we have a better turn to attack it's allowed us to spread out wider for next time we'll get these two players back next time so like to do the blitz here I was going to have to leave one of I was either going to have to bring the guard all the way out here which is a bad idea or I was going to have to leave 
an easy hit on my um, thrower, which I don't want to do, or my frenzy catcher, which I don't want to do. And also, like, I quite want to keep this in the middle. So that's why I didn't lose that turn. To talk you all the way through my thinking. Unnecessarily wordy explanations. Was Frenzy Catcher planned? Uh, no, we got... We chose Dodge and Wrestle. And then I did a random general after that. Because I was feeling spicy. And we hit Frenzy and I was like, yeah, okay, we can work with that. Uh, I do like having a frenzy, so it wasn't planned, but I do like having a frenzy on the team, so definitely not, like, um, a thing we're unhappy about. Okay, so we're down to nine. This is kind of exactly why elf screens don't work, because what happens when you elf screen is most teams will just punch through enough times that eventually you don't have an elf screen anymore. Um... Which is why this turn we might try and get a bit more involved. Yeah, we're going to get rowdy this turn. Okay. Problem is, again, that can just dodge away because it's got edge one plus. <laughs> but you got to do something right. Um, can't go halfway in. If you're going all in, you've got to go all in. So, we'll try. Oh, so much for pro. Made the pro, failed the, uh, failed the thing. Maybe we shouldn't have done that because we know we freed up the guard one. I was sort of thinking both down was fine, but we rolled the ones. We rolled the ones. I guess we shouldn't have done that, really. Although in a weird way, it has some, like, not awful to it. Because the thing is, like, if you power that with the guard, then you give this... Um, you give this a free hit as well. Is that the Mighty Bow? Please be the Mighty Bow. Was. Okay, so they haven't got the tackle free now. That's kind of even better than I thought that was going to do. I know it's got stunned, but I thought it was going to get hit by that. So no power here because we've got Budge. Hey, Gaza. See, now I'm slightly regretting not putting you there. Cause, but I did that because I thought you would just be freeing that up anyway. I guess we're just dodging here, right? And again, like when your orc is edge one plus, why not? Shoot the thrower. Yeah, okay. Here's the thrower with my play. Uh, 
gets rid of it. Just to KO. Maybe we'll get that reroll back later. If we're lucky. Thanks a Dutch. But. Oh, totally without some options here. That sucks a bit. Um, do we want to give ourselves a guard in here or just want to get out? Mm -hmm. I think we just step out this time. If I had not gone down, I think we might have gone in to have some interesting options. But yeah, going in they probably would have found it. They kept that free. So we have red dice to open here on the ball. Feels that like there's got to be a friendly push here. <laughs> Bring two in here. We got a one dice. Fills out square. Still not quite pushing that out far enough. It's all the string four and guard that makes this a bit too much. Than this first. I was originally thinking to take the one nice hit there, and I forgot that when I did my blitz on that first. game with prowls because yeah we're trying to use pressure to force a mistake and like mistakes are complicated right because a mistake can be something obvious but it can also just be like leaving a chain on with the frenzy um but There's a risk every time we do that that we just get powered and killed because we aren't very strong with our armor. That's good. stay here right like and we've occupied a whole bunch of players <laughs> mm. 
Mm. Very happy with that. And now this is now this is going to be an interesting turn. They've still got their blitz, but I think whatever they do with this blitz, it's going to be at least something we can try this turn. Whether we can do it, different question, but I think there'll be at least something to try. I think the right choice. Um, they've still got their Fowler, so just go into the least Fowlable square, I guess. Good. So if we put guard in here, people there, then we could push you into there. Then we would hit with you and push you out. I think I think that's the play. We need to get this into here. Do we bring that out first? Push, and we're coming in with a frenzy. Push. Hopefully a second push. You have guard on this, but um, can make it a one dice anyway. Come in here and cancel that. So good, so good. Far away. That is not far away. Could be worse. Could be worse. That was a fun. That was a fun play, right? That was. That was elf pressure, creating a chain push, creating a chance to hit the ball carrier. I wonder if there was a better way. I think there might have been. I mean, I, I did wonder about whether it was just better to do the one dice to start off because I would have had an extra player free. Um, like, could have recovered the ball here at the end. Um, but I didn't want to fail that three plus and not get to do any of it, so. Mm. And the other good thing now is, right, like, yes, they can still recover this quite easily, to be honest. But they now will not be carrying it on this monster. So even if they get this back, it's going to be not on the player they want to have it on. Oh, that was the tackle hit too. Really nice. Good job, Lionhouse, tanking the hit. <laughs> Except way to make coffee come back to missing all the good stuff. <laughs> Not gonna lie. TC mum, that was a fun play you missed, but game is still very much in the balance, so I 
The crazy thing is this can still dodge out pretty easily, right? Because it's got add one plus in effect. <laughs> it's got the... Uh, um, it's got the edge 2 plus and break tackle, so actually got a pretty good chance getting out of there. Despite being an orc. Okay, I thought that was maybe going to be the blitz. So now I don't know what the blitz is. I thought it was a blitz onto here. One dice. Or the guess you could have made it two dice with the goblin, but Okay. Um I think just like here probably. I'll make it harder for you to come around. Hmm. And now I really don't know what the blitz is. Goblin blitz? One dice goblin blitz? Might well be actually, like it's a three plus. But then it's a three plus blitz, three plus dodge, and three plus pickup. Yeah, I thought that would be a big one, but it's interesting. I mean, this is going to be a mess next turn, whatever happens, so I don't think we've necessarily got, like, easy recovery. Yes, they are going for the... Oh, pick up first, and then blitz, which is fails. So they went for the four plus pick up into the blitz. I mean, that is spicy because you've got the four plus pick up, but they made it. And that does save them the dodge. Okay, well. It's all happening. Now this super orc can dodge out because... It's the super orc. I think we're going to take that hit because then this can come through. Um, the guard here is a problem for us. We've got red dice, red dice, red dice, red dice. We've got red dice. <laughs> Probably going to have to do a three plus dodge. Um, so I think we do this first actually. Oh, it's good. So we've at least got someone back if we fail the dodge. It just is that, isn't it? It just is that. Okay, doesn't fail the first dodge. Doesn't fail the second dodge. Gets it down, that's great. Scatter is not so great. Okay. Good enough. Now we've got to do a three plus dodge again. Okay, that's good. Where's their tackle? Here. Probably just going this way, isn't it? It's either that or either that or go forwards. Just because further from our end zone is more of a problem for them to get it and score. That's good. Um, it's off tackle. But I think we try it. Oh, that's good. 
Oh, that's so good. Oh, that one at the right time, didn't we? Yeah, I'd say that's gone quite well. <laughs> I'd say that's gone quite well for us in the end. <laughs> Elf, 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 elf. Mm. We're good, Benny. How are you? We're good. Doing some some elfity elfing that turn. Elves elfing. There is an orc elf on the pitch. But we managed to elf the ball off him and now we are doing what elves do and running off with it. I'm looking forward to these next few matches. I mean, that's the other side of the coin to like the last couple of games where I felt like we didn't get breaks. You then get some breaks and it looks like that and it's super frustrating to be on the other side of if you're the team playing against elves. Just got back from a hangout and paint session. Now to put some numbers on my something to start painting. Oh, it's cool. Year of the green skins, nice. Mm. I've still, I keep saying this, I've never played against snotlings in tabletop. I've never played against gnomes in tabletop I've never played as them either it will happen at some point and everyone tells me that it's awful and I will hate it when it happens but it hasn't happened yet just a push as someone who's played has not played Elf Union what are the main differences between them and the other elves um <laughs> Blood Thorna has given part of my thinking. Um, so they are the most fragile of all the elves because they are all armor 8 plus. So like wood elves have got all the elves are 8 plus, but they have the tree which gives them some additional um, strength to make up for that. Um, other elf teams like high elves or dark elves have got a whole bunch of armor nine plus i lied there are two players on pro elves who are um who are armor nine plus you've got the two blitzes i think we come backwards here right like pushing forwards here is how you lose the ball whereas if we come backwards we've got actually a lot of players that can get together here and help so because this is their best sacker and that's their best recovery piece so let's not give them the ball we don't need to let's blitz that with tackle because it's a goblin And then come here. Let's pop you in front of that. Let's bring you there. You there. You. There. Punch you. Mm. Um, so the other thing with pro elves is like it really depends who you're comparing them to right so like dark elves are the bashiest elves because they get four blitzes with block they have uh, armor nine plus across the board but they're the slowest elves um, wood elves are the fastest elves because even their linemen are movement seven pro elves sit somewhere in the middle like in if you 
didn't have the catches, pro elves would be a really slow elf team, right? The most, because the, the thrower, the lineman, they're all movement six. And I think with some pro elf rosters, they actually can feel quite slow as a result. Like you need the catches for them to feel less slow. But um, the things that differentiate them then from high elves who have exactly the same movement on their players is that pro elves get um, nerves of steel on the catches and they get sidestep on the blitzes. So lower armor, but nerves of steel and sidestep. And also because they're lower armor, they're slightly cheaper. Um, in practice, that means the nerves of steel means that they're really good for doing really aggressive offensive plays. Um, the thing is that most of the time you still don't want to do that. Like most of the time, most of our ball games, you're trying to be sensible and not take unnecessary risks. But what makes the pro elves really fun, in my opinion, is in the situations where you need to be aggressive and do something a bit outside of the safety first approach, they're just so good at it. Like they do it so well uh, because the nerves are steel. Like you can do some really fun plays. Um, what they lose compared to high elves, which is the most similar comparison, is because they also have the um, lower armor, they can't necessarily like get into a brawl like high elves can. Like high elves can really get into a fight and survive it sometimes. With pro elves, you often on defense, as has happened in this game, like you get to a point where you're like, okay, I have to be more aggressive because I'm going to run out of elves. So you can't get away with the 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 more cautious. Um, so you can't um, get away with just like getting stuck in every turn for eight, eight turns because generally your players will will just die. Okay, so. This is the uh, only scoring threat. Is that correct? Looks correct. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna punch it. Um, Punch up, don't we? So, okay, that didn't go where I wanted it to. Uh, there we go. Um, I'm going to be extremely greedy here. So now our opponent has no scoring threat. They were trying to get a second scoring threat with Goblin. They haven't got it. It's their turn 16 next. That's two squares away. So I'm going to do something stupid. And I'm going to... Uh, most will dodge, I guess. Dodge and then hand off to this catcher. And because it's got nerves of steel, this is only a two plus catch. And then I'm going to see if we can get this into scoring range. So we can still try to get a touchdown. Um, where's the tackle? So they're going to get to hit it, but they're going to hit it without a tackle. So I don't think we do our rushes now. Um, they're going to have two dice in it. It's not going to be a tackle. Um, maybe we should do one rush actually, because we might get a three dice for you. Perfect. Okay. Um, so even to the end, being greedy, trying to force the SPP onto Freezing Star, because that's the fun way to play Pro Elves, is to be greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. So one rush we need at the moment, but if they hit us and don't knock us down, then it would only be... Uh, we might be able to size up into range and not even need to do the last rush. I really try to explain my thought process through as much of the game as I can. Um, and as I've been saying, like, if you want to know 
more about how I think about playing elves specifically there's on YouTube my YouTube channel now I've got a dark elf run a wood elf run and now this pearl elf run is going up so um if you like want to see all of this run from the beginning like I try and talk through like the roster decisions I made and uh and the skill choices I make and like hopefully make it all interesting okay it doesn't pass the first time doesn't pass a second time, so Freezing Star might get to score. Well, they will get to score. Oh, they will. Okay, I was going to say they will get to score if they don't. At least make me do a dodge. Trying to dodge to bracket it. Okay, makes it. Makes things a bit harder. Um, okay, so we will. Try to knock you down first. This is off tackle. Go in there. Then we go in here. Kind of need this to be a knockdown. Good job, Freezing Star. Star of the team. Star of the team. Thanks, Renee. So, after all that, we've pretty much just got our team back to the same SR they were at the start of the night because we had a uh, draw. Uh, a loss, a draw, and a win. I think we're like a tiny bit higher, but maybe like four points or something higher. Um, so where are we on the team development? We are at 24 SR on Lionel, so we are going to take Juggernaut. Uh, Juggernaut, for those of you who are not familiar, is a skill that does a couple of different things. Juggernaut, um, can we get it to show up? So with Juggernaut, when you do a blitz, um, your opponent uh, can't use Stand Firm, they can't use Fend, and they can't use Wrestle. So uh, in general, it's best on a player that has Block, not a player that has Wrestle. Because that means if we had Block, um, if we're doing a blitz with Juggernaut, we can choose to say to our opponent, well, you can't use your Wrestle. Uh, so with block, you could say it's a bow down and uh, you can't use your wrestle. Um, it also means that if I roll a both down, I can choose to treat that as a push. So it goes really well with frenzy because it means that you can force um, pushes sometimes where it wouldn't normally be a push. Um, and obviously with frenzy, that allows you to do things like surfing. It allows you to do things like that chain push we did to get the ball carrier out of the cage in this game. Um, just opens up a lot of things by making the pushes more reliable. Um, it also um, is super helpful for the 110, uh, for 110 touchdowns, guaranteeing that stand firm can't stop you from getting the first push is really powerful. So yeah, we do like uh, Juggernaut and Frenzy together, even though we might say it's even better with Block than Frenzy, Block within Wrestle, sorry. Um, I think we are still one SVP away from a uh, sprint, which is the next skill for Freezing Star. Uh, a kind Sarah has been saving for stats. So they're not there yet. Um, Vitrolic Monkey, I don't really have a plan for, but it might be sidestep. They will definitely aren't there. They're on you. So Salty Salt, we're actually trying not to level. Kind of just happy with them having leader. So that is basically everything. The only choice that I have to make now is, do I want to cut this fourth catcher to have another lineman again it would save me 40,000 on team value which I think it is worth it at the moment so yeah I am actually going to cut the catcher it didn't get any S SPP if it had I might have rolled a random level but I think given we've got loads of money in the bank I'm going to go back to three catches three catches isn't like my ideal my ideal is four catches but 
like when you're playing in ladder, you're slightly playing a game of what team value do I want to be going into spinning on? And so not always going for the version that's the highest, even if it's slightly better for the roster, is something we, or I anyway, sometimes think about. Um, so yeah, that is the roster after um, 25 games. The record is 15 wins, seven draws and three losses. Thank you for the, thank you for the follows Bible man and sensual sausage. That feels like two very, um, <laughs> two very different usernames that just followed. Um, can I refuse the both down arrow and choose rest and said, yes, I can always choose not to use juggernaut. Pretty much every skill, like not the mega traits, like loner or bonehead or whatever but like pretty much every skill you can choose to use or not use so um so yeah that is the team after 25 games if you are watching this run on youtube keep on watching because we haven't yet done what we said we were going to do on this team which is either drive it into the grave or take it into master but um in the meantime smash that like and subscribe